Hi, today we have a repair project. We have a tube-based Fender Dual Showman guitar amplifier that a friend of mine just brought. Unit made some light flashes and stopped working. We will go over a few troubleshooting steps. We will start by checking the fuse and see if anything is going wrong here. As we can see, the usual silver coating on the glass is typical after the slow blow filament breaks. Let's confirm with the continuity tester. As expected, we have a blown fuse. So, at this point, we know something went wrong. Let's inspect the power tubes. I will use my favorite Dynajet portable tube tester using the proper voltage, pin selector and socket settings as per the manual for those 6L6 beam power tetrode which are used in the simplifier. Testing is then straightforward. For each tube, after waiting about 10 seconds for the filament to reach its ideal thermionic emission temperature, we can then test for leakage and strength. If we don't have any grid emission, we can then test the tube for strength. Now, for this last one, right from the get-go, there are some signs of grid emission, and shortly after, as the tube is heating, the shorts bulb is lighting up. At this point, we can actually assume this tube created a short and blew the fuse, which could mean it was an easy fix. We will mark the tube as dead. Let's keep investigating to see if anything is wrong or was damaged in the circuit. The removal of the chassis from the cabinet is quite cumbersome due to the tight fit. The next step is to perform a visual inspection to ensure we do not have any leaking capacitor or burn components. First thing we can notice is a bent pin on one of the power tube sockets. It can be easily fixed using a tiny screwdriver. This dual showman is a push-pull running two pairs of 6L6 power tubes in parallel to increase the output power. It can also run with a single pair on the inner socket or the outer socket. As you can see, all capacitors have already been recently replaced. Now we have replaced the fuse and removed the faulty tube, let's make sure we do not have any shorts. Let's plug the amplifier into my homemade isolation transformer. The two bulbs are in series with the primary coil. It is a simple way to perform passive current limiting. The glimpse of light is caused by the high current at turn up, when tubes are heating and the capacitor is charging. I have then checked all the various voltages and everything is pretty close to the specs, but I want to focus on the bias voltage that should read minus 48 volts. After letting the amp warm up, we are still reading close to minus 54 volts, which we will adjust now. Having the bias set too high will cause a higher power consumption when idle, as well as a shorter power tube lifespan. Now everything looks good, let's compare the input signal to the output with a 4 ohm dummy load attached as I didn't have the original speakers with me. I use a variety of signals, but a 400Hz square wave helps for the rough tuning. 
The settings can then be a base for tuning the rest of the system. Hope you enjoyed and have a great day!